Governor Christy Noem has repeatedly said that lockdowns don't work and that South Dakotans can decide for themselves how to respond during the pandemic. Despite the 288 South Dakotans who have died from COVID-19, she has directed the public's attention to the fact that most people recover from the virus, especially those under the age of 70. As we continue our COVID-19 Beyond the Numbers coverage, Kelo Band News wanted to sit down with Governor Noem to talk about the rising cases in the state and her campaigning across the country for President Trump. Over the last several weeks, Governor Kristi Noem has spent time in other states on the presidential campaign trail for Donald Trump. Just yesterday, this video was posted from Minnesota. It's incredibly important that we turn Minnesota red that this state votes and supports President Trump. During a news conference on the Attorney General crash, Kelvin Van News asked Governor Noem about her trips out of state to campaign while COVID-19 numbers here rise. Well, if we do not uh, focus on the election as well, and uh, President Trump is not in office, there are consequences to that for our state of South Dakota. We will be Shortly after being elected in January of 2017, Noam told lawmakers that she wants people to trust her administration. Today I'm committing to work towards building the most transparent administration South Dakota has ever seen. At the time, we sat down with Noam to ask her about the openness of her administration. Do you expect the public and the press to have steady access to you and your cabinet? I do, absolutely. And that's been a directive that I've given to my cabinet and to my staff that, that we want to be responsive. The governor's taxpayer-funded TV studio in the Capitol building is supposed to give the media more access to her. But so far, it appears that the studio is mostly being used for appearances by the governor on national Fox News programs. This week, I asked the governor's office for a one-on-one -on -one interview to address questions about rising COVID-19 cases in the state, her campaign trips for Trump, and the economy. We received the following response from the governor's senior advisor and policy director, Maggie Seidel. She says, there were even the slightest attempts on your part to be fair in your reporting. I'd be happy to move this through the process since that hasn't happened in my entire time with Governor Noem, and I'm being told long before, the answer is no.